everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome in if you are new. This is going to be a very relaxing, chill video because guys, we are halfway through the year so we are doing a little bit of reflection. Um, in the beginning of the year, we I know I made goals and intentions for this coming year so we're going to just go over those and just check in, see how we're doing. And guess what? If you are not doing the best in all of your goals and your intentions, girl, we have six more months. We can improve and we can make better. And there is no better day to start improving than the present. But let's start with my first goal and intention that I made for this year was to start each day with a good sweat. And we have been doing that. We have been, I work out five days a week, so not quite seven. I'm a girl, I need a little couple, I need a couple rest days. But I have been doing that, sticking to my goals um, of getting, you know, those five days in when I can. Of course, we'll, if we're on a crazy vacation or something like that, you adjust and you are flexible. But for the most part, I make sure to work out. I like to personally work out Monday through Fridays. My husband's different, like he'll work out. His days are all spread out, but I have been doing a great job of getting at least those five days of workout in and I prefer to do it in the morning. I feel like what helps with this is to set up a good um, routine. So during the school year, I will get ready in my workout clothes. It also helps, I'm a girl, I like a little cute workout set. So having a cute little workout set helps and our workout is in our gym. We converted half of our gym to half of our garage into like a garage gym. So it's just really convenient. Um, but even if you are doing videos on YouTube or, um, you know, have uh, something that you like to, you know, you have a Peloton or any of those bikes, just getting a good sweat in, even if you are walking around the block, girl, whatever works, wherever you can get in, maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's 45, maybe it's 15, but starting just having a good sweat, a good workout, implement it into your day will just set you off right. So love that. And we're just going to keep continuing that into the rest of the year. Um, next thing is um, implementing and incorporating daily devotionals. I actually do three each day and this is something that I started this year and I absolutely love it guys. It's a little bit of quiet time. I keep them in my nightstand so oftentimes I do it even before I have stepped foot out of the bed, I just kind of roll over, grab them, and I like to do them. But the ones that I am reading are Daily Light for Women. This one is more biblical written, so sometimes I have to reread over a passage just to take it in and to really understand it, but I love this one. Um, this one, love it in God's presence. Um, a short, quick read. It also has... Um, that's funny, I opened the page, that's my birthday page, but it has a little um, spot in there where you can write your reflection of what you just read or some goals and intentions that you have for that day. And then this is also a very good one. And I love it because it is written by different biblical figures. And I just love everybody's different take on a particular passage or word. So love this one as well. So love these three easy reads, um, just getting in that little quiet time to reflect and to just read the Word of God. Um, next up, um, impl implementing a rest day for social media. We started this two years ago. So Saturday is my rest day. I will say I started off strong in the beginning of the year and I don't post on Saturday. I try not to scroll, but as we've gotten into the latter half of the year, somebody will respond back to something and I will respond back to it. And I need to just let it be and wait until the next day, Sunday. It's only one day. Like, everybody's going to be okay. So need to get better at this. These, you know, sometimes your intentions were not doing the best, but we have six more months to improve and there's no better day to start improving like the present day. So need to work on that a little bit, but I have done a good job with not posting on Saturdays and it is such a relief and 
like kind of I know social media when you have YouTube and that stuff social media kind of go hand in hand but it's been nice to have that little bit of a rest the next one is continuing to cozy up our home. You guys, Rum was not built in a day. Nothing is usually built in just one day. Some, a lot of things take time and we will be in our home uh, officially two years at the end of this month. I can't believe it that we have been in Texas for two years, but you guys know we bought a new built home and we have slowly, it very much had that new built filled and we're slowly have been cozying it up. And I'm a person, I would say I'm more of a collector than just buying um, things. So it's taken me some time to get rooms. Like our, all of our rooms have their basic, you know, we have beds in all of our rooms and all those, like it has the basic furniture, but just finding those little knick-knacky, little cozy pieces, little personal touch pieces for your home, it's taken me a little bit of time and I am enjoying taking my time and really making this home what I, you know, want it to be and what's best for my family. So you guys, you don't have to decorate your home in a week, in a day, in a month. Clearly not even in a year. So we, I have really thoroughly enjoyed taking my time and decorating this home. Um, along with that is hosting. And I am like such a perfectionist and I like to have all ducks and everything in a row. And hosting, y'all, you guys, it stresses me out. And it's so funny because my friends will be like, you're so great at hosting you do it so effortlessly and I'm like but I am before everybody got here I was stressed out but I feel like the more you do it the less stress you will be and we have hosted a few things in our home already in the beginning of the year and I know it's coming that time with all the holidays and the fun you know those burr months November December January you know all of those months where more hosting um, opportunities are gonna be so I am just going to, the more I do it, I keep telling myself, the more comfortable I will feel. So just keep hosting. And the next one is making more time for those special moments and date nights with my husband. I feel like we started off the year strong, but then we get back into our routines and we can get better with this. Even if it's not doing a date night outside of the home, um, finding time to do something special just the two of us inside of our home so this we need to do a little bit work on but there's no better time to start than the present and then um, last but not least it would be for this space and I just want to continue to make content that I feel like is valuable and that is helpful for you guys and that is fun it makes me happy so I love this this is such like a great outlet for me a creative outlet a great hobby um, to showcase just the things that I like to do I liked homemaking I like decorating our home for the different seasonal activities I love doing mom type things um, you know you know, get gearing ready for back to school and all of that stuff. And I just want to continue to make content that I love and is useful for you guys. But that is it, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see everybody very soon with a whole new video. We are diving into back to school stuff because I can't believe it. My daughter goes back to school next month. So we're going to be diving into all of that. But bye, guys. Thank you.